it's just what oh I do make oh man I don't know how to explain this intro to my subscribers basically I need to let them know that this is the second part to the last video I made and that video we went through a little bit of my office and showed you around my property and kind of showed you the gym I just built. We did a cool little vlog together and then we did a $1,000 gel blaster unboxing. And right before I ended the last video, I was just about to get into the gel blaster giveaway. So that's what we're gonna be doing right now. We're starting out with the gel blaster giveaway and this is the remaining of the gel blaster tests we go through when we do the FPS, the accuracy, and the pain test. You're gonna see that all right now with some high-end gel blasters. It's gonna be extremely cool, vlog style. We'll see you throughout the whole thing because it's gonna be me the whole time. So let's get into it. You, you didn't see that. I did not drop this gel blaster. Um, we're gonna be, bah, 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 bah. This is the gel blaster we're gonna be giving away. So it's a 45 caliber pistol and uh, it, don't, it shoots, it takes Orbeez. It's an it's a Orbeez gun. Basically how this works guys is you will leave a comment down below and YouTube will randomly select a winner according to that comment, Mr. F.E. Now, when I select the winner, I'm gonna message you back on here on YouTube, and I'm gonna say, congratulations, you're the winner, you won. What you're gonna have to do from there is add me on Instagram or TikTok and message me privately through there so that nobody on YouTube gets your address, obviously. But I know what you guys want. You want a, you want a customized gel blaster. That's what we're doing today. I don't make up the rules, it's just, what? Oh. I do make the rules. I do make the rules and we're gonna be customizing this gel blaster for you guys today. I don't wanna use the same spray paints I've been using. I wanna get some really cool colors. So we're gonna go to the store real quick, grab a couple of cool colors, and then we're gonna come back and customize this bad boy for you guys. Let's do this. Did you want them? I got hey! Coochie coochie coo. And you guys thought I ran here. No, I uh, definitely didn't. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so I hope you guys like that little collage of me running to the store. Um, I actually drove here. That was just a little jokey joke to make me look cool. So hopefully it worked. And uh, let's go back and customize this gel blaster. Let's customize this awesome gel blaster. I picked blue, yellow, and green to do this with. I really don't have any kind of technique, but uh, let's see what it turns out like. I'm going to take this black hopper off here. We're going to leave that. We're gonna leave that black. It's kind of like green tinted. I like that a lot. All right, it's nice and dry. Let's flip it over and paint the other side. I really like the see-through green look. It looks awesome. Sick. That looks super sick. Let's get these gel blasters set up and ready to fire. That bad boy right there. Um, we gotta get some of these Orbeez made up, so that should be enough for that one package. Okay, perfect, perfect. So these are the gel blasters we're gonna go ahead and test. We're gonna do the accuracy test, we're gonna do the FPS test, and then we're gonna do the pain test, which um, I'm kind of scared for. I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret, okay? These are the ultra elites right here. These are the best gel balls you will ever find on the market. 
best gel balls that I found on the market so far. You test them out and tell me for yourself. Uh, so this is what I usually make my Orbeez in, but actually there's a whole bunch of the uh, Orbeez already made in there. So I'm gonna get a different bucket. You wanna put these in good water. So you wanna get like some drinking water or if you have filtered water on your house, that's probably better. Uh, and then we're gonna hydrate them for two and a half hours. Two hours and 30 minutes, we're gonna time it. And when they're done, they're gonna be literally the perfect size, the perfect firmness uh, to fire out of these gel blasters right here. Okay, Google, set timer for two and a half hours. All right, I think they should be hydrated by now. So let's see. Okay. So they look big enough. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and compare them to the other ones. Off-brand Orbeez, and we got some Gel Elites. Uh, they look about the same size to me. Let's put a couple with them. See if they match each other. They're pretty dang close. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire these, test fire these through the gel blaster and just make sure they're big enough. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it in the nylon blaster, the nylon M4. Let's see if this thing fires. Semi-auto. So while I was waiting for the Gillettes to do their thing, you know, two and a half hours or whatever, uh, the timer actually, let's see what that, let's see, let's see what the timer looks like. All right, so we actually have eight minutes left on our timer that we set for the Orbeez. Um, so you can see that it's not exactly two and a half hours, but you know, between two and two hours and 15 minutes and two hours and 30 minutes, uh, it, it, it seems like that should be a good time to check your uh, gel, gelettes. I'm just gonna call them gel, gelettes, okay? From here out on this, ch on this channel, we're gonna call Orbeez or Orby bullets or whatever you wanna call them, we're calling them gelettes. That's it, I love it. If you guys catch me saying anything other than gelettes, leave a comment down below making fun of me, all right? That'd be great. <laughs> anyway, so I did have a bright idea. Before I got sidetracked, I have a bright idea. We're gonna go ahead and test the new gelettes against the generic gelettes that come from, you know, China or wherever the other gel blasters come from. So I'm just putting a handful in here. Basically what it's gonna do is show you what these uh, high-end gel blasters will do to like cheap Gillettes. We're gonna put the camera up here, okay? Boom, and we're gonna shoot right against the... All right, so these are actually not firing too bad. I'm not gonna lie. I thought uh, it was gonna break some of them, but let's put it on fully auto and let's see what that does. Oh yeah, okay, all right. So that, that's it. All right, so these, these gel bees, gelettes, dang it. You're gonna make fun of me for that, aren't you? Hey. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, I thought that they were firing good at semi-automatic. They literally didn't bust a, like you can see when it, when it busts an Orby, it comes out and it's like a shotgun. It's almost like a bird shot, right? But the semi-automatic didn't make it do that because you're firing one at a time. It's not like a, a high fire rate. When I switched it to automatic, now, then you could, hopefully you could see it on the camera, but you could see, boom, birdshot, just brrr, it was busting the Orbeez up in here. So that's gonna be the difference, is using fully automatic with these Orbeez and using fully automatic with those. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh, um, basically, I'm gonna trade up gun. It's the, same, it's the same gel blaster, but that one is more powerful. So I'm gonna trade them up, uh, just because some of the Orbeez might have broken up in this barrel. And then I'm gonna put the new Orbeez in that gel blaster, put it on fully automatic and see if it busts any of those up. Because honestly, if those are gonna bust up, it's gonna be because of the faster gel blaster. So let's try that out real quick. Don't do that. Yeah, this is sick, this is sick. This thing is sick, boy. Okay, you can see it. Cool, all right, awesome guys. All right, so we're actually gonna start doing the accuracy test from this point out. These are the new Orbeez, these are the 
what are these called? Dang it, why do I keep calling them? You, you guys are really gonna make fun of me down there in the comments today. <sighs> these gelettes are called Ultra Elites. And what you do with them is you put them in your gel blaster and they work better. Uh, but, all right, we're gonna turn this on automatic. This is the fully metal M4 and it has insane power. So watch this. Let's see if anything busts. Oh my God. Whoa! Those things shot out of there. Wow, oh my God, they went. Dude, these things just shot way up in the air. Like I'm talking, wow! But good thing, you don't have to worry about these falling down and hurting anybody because they're made out of jelly. You know what I'm saying? So, dude, I freaking love this. I don't know about this one. We're, we're, <laughs> we're going semi-automatic with the paint test. That's Y'all know that. Oh my God. Y'all know that now. <laughs> I bet you this is literally the best gel blaster they allow in America right now. I'm telling you, this hurts. I ain't getting shot. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, maybe I will, maybe I will. We'll see, you just you just hang in there, all right? We're gonna get the other blasters and we're gonna test them out right now. All right, so this is the nylon M4 and then uh, it had basically nylon everything compared to the all metal everything. Uh, 7.4 volts compared to the all metal has 11.1 .1 volt battery. Uh, which is really what gives it that speed and that power. We're gonna go semi-automatic real quick. This is the accuracy test. Bow! All right, we're gonna go fully automatic with the accuracy test. Wow, that's pretty freaking amazing. Honestly, um, this is still a really, really good gel blaster. Uh, wow, wow, wow. I love these gel blasters. They're amazing, guys. All right, here it is, the gel storm, baby. This is a little pistol that you can go out and have family fun with everywhere, anywhere. All right, we're gonna do the uh, accuracy test here with this bad boy. It's very simple, but I can't wait to show you tonight. I'm gonna show you the actual glow in the dark Orbeez. So basically, let me, let me show you right now. You can see in there, there's a purplish light. And so that is what's going to charge the Orbeez up uh, the ones that glow and then at night you'll be able to literally see like a stream of Orbeez flying through the air So that's stay tuned till the end to see that. All right, let's do this. Let's see how it looks All right Nice good good good. We're a good 15 or 20 feet away from that target just so you know for distance wise Okay, guys, this is the uh, fully metal M4 here. This is the first one we're testing. So this is literally the most expensive gun, um, the best built gun, uh, and we're gonna see the FPS on it right now real quick. Woo, 265, 263, 112, uh, I was a little off, 150, or 259, 159, 253, 257, 251, 249, 216. Definitely a consistent 250 FPS gel blaster right there. Let's go ahead and test the fully nylon one and uh, it's a little bit cheaper, about 200 bucks. Let's test that one out and see how it goes. All right guys, like I said, this is the fully nylon M4. Let's see what it uh, clocks in at. 209, 216, 204, 196, 211, 198, 212. Seven, uh, that can't be right, 780, come on, 219. Wow, okay, so this thing is pretty consistent, over 200, pretty amazing, loving it, loving it. All right, we're gonna try out the AR really quickly. All right, guys, this is the AR, full nylon, uh, 7.4 volt battery. Let's go ahead and see what it does for FPS. 187, 190. 201, 186, 200, 192. Hey Magnus, plasma pistol from Gelstorm. It looks like a plasma pistol from Halo. This is the FPS test for that. And I'm gonna go ahead and guess this thing is around 100 FPS. Let's go ahead and see. 76, it's 55, 58, 64, 
Okay, 103, 104, 112, 141, 131, 124, 106. Okay, good. All right, FE Clan, this is the moment you've all been waiting for probably to see me get shot by these things. We're doing the most powerful gel blaster first. He is 30 feet away because I'm going to tell you right now, 10 feet and 20 feet will definitely hurt. So I'm going to shoot. Uh, have them shoot from 30 feet and maybe 40 feet away just to see the pain difference. A couple of shots though, Not, nothing too, too crazy, all right? All right, okay, here we go. All right, don't hit my balls. Go ahead and Oh, 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 okay, okay, woo! All right, wow. Uh, yeah, so 30 feet away, you're definitely gonna know you get hit. That's, that's definitely powerful enough and uh, uh, yeah. Let's just move on to the other gel blasters because that thing hurts. Alright, so I just realized that I had this in my pocket and uh, you probably couldn't hear me on the last one, but we're moving on to the nylon gel blaster. The first one hurt and if you already know that, then you know that. But nylon gel blaster from 30 feet away, we're going to see it has 200 FPS. It's probably going to sting a little. Let's see what happens here. Woo! Let's go. Oh, 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 okay. Alright, alright, good. Alright, I took three shots to the stomach by that uh, nylon M4. It stings, you can feel it. Move on to the next one is the AR, the nylon AR. Also guys, I just want to let you know like as far as timing, how long these videos take to record, you know? Like just so you can be here with me, you know? This is, this is like being here with me. Alright, so just for reference, we started filming this morning at 9 a.m. It is currently 3 p.m. where I'm at, and I'm just now getting to the pain test. So all that stuff you just watched in the last 10, 15 minutes, however long I make this video, it took that long to film. We're just now getting to the end, which is like the pain test and then whatever you see after this. All right, let's, uh, uh, let's do the nylon AR. All right, let's go. Oh, 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 okay, oh. Whew, that one was a little low. Almost hit me in the balls, the balls. All right, <laughs> that would've hurt, but uh, yeah, maybe I should wear a cup next time I'm getting shot by something this powerful. Anywho, uh, let's move on to the gel storm now, guys. The gel storm is the weakest of all of the gel blasters, but that is made for kids, so it's not, Anything bad about the gel blaster, it's just made for a different customer, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, try this out. This is about, uh, I would say, what is he, 15 feet away or so right now. Go ahead. Woo! All right, all right, all right. No, 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 absolutely not. You go put that back. Okay, all right. I almost just got shot in the face by one of the the strong gel the, the ar i almost got shot in the face by the ar uh yeah the gel storm hold it up show them show them most whistle that is the gel storm right there guys that thing definitely made some red marks but you can tell the difference um between the strong one and the weaker ones the strong one actually makes like a raised welt and the weaker ones just make red marks uh, yeah, I, I love this thing. I can't wait to shoot it at night. This thing covers your entire face It's it's even if you get shot you get shot in the top of the head That's really you know, it might sting a little bit It's not gonna hurt too bad, but it covers your ears it covers your eyes Which is most important it can't get in your nose or in your mouth and it covers like a lot of your your neck area down here when you're running and stuff so these are really cool. I would definitely suggest uh, getting some of these from gel tactical you, you can uh, you can't really, these are basically paintball masks, all right? But these are really affordable on Gel Tactical's website, and I just think they're really cool and made for, you know, playing a, a, a Gillette Orbeez War. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure to subscribe down below, which right down there. And while you're down there, check out the FE Clan merch shop. You can get like all kinds of things, sweaters, and, and you can even get a little cup to make, to drink your coffee out of, if you drink that. Anyways, Watch this video and this video. We'll see you next time.